talking on my hands a lot. <laughs> welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have an influencer Vox box. I'm going to explain the influencer site, explain what a Vox box is, tell you how you can get free PR for yourself even with very few subscribers, and then I will get into the product review of what is in here. So influencer is a website, it's like a social media platform, and the purpose of this platform is to build up a lot of community reviews about products that are out there. They also do like TV shows and movies and things like that and stores, you can review anything. And you go on, you create a profile for yourself and you just review as many things as you possibly can. Once you get to a point where they feel like you've been active enough and you have enough of a social media reach that they feel like it would be worthwhile, they will add you to a Voxbox survey. Now, I don't actually have that much of a reach. YouTube is my biggest platform. I have my 1,100 subscribers, which I love you all very much. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I have 1100 subscribers and then other than that I have like a few hundred other subscribers on other platforms so I total less than 1500 followers and so Influencer will plug into your social media accounts if you let it and it will look at how many followers you have It will look at how active you've been on their site as far as leaving reviews and doing different types of things How frequently you log on and for me it took about a year of logging on once in a while and leaving a handful of reviews on different things I didn't do it very much I honestly thought that I was never going to reach the point where they were going to send me anything and this is my second Vox box. The first thing that I got was this number seven laboratories mask. It's an AHA PHA peel complex. So that's what influencer is. That's how you can get a Vox box. And then once you receive the Vox box, I don't know why they call it that Vox box. Anyway, once you receive your Vox box, you are expected to go online and review what you receive. This is it. This is the box. And let's look at what is inside of it. So I do know actually, it's, I already looked because I wanted to just be able to more quickly get into this video for you. So it's Dermalogica, which Dermalogica is not an inexpensive brand. I'm really excited. And this little card just has that uh, advertisement on it. And then it has a little description on the back and it says Dermalogica is a professional grade skincare brand founded by a skin therapist. So we know how to create skincare solutions that work. Our mission has always been the same. Develop innovative products made from active ingredients that visibly improve skin health. Based in LA and made in the USA. We are laser focused on results and helping individuals around the world achieve their best skin ever. Now, what I have to do after I use this is I have to log in to the Dermalogica Voxbox campaign pain on Influencer, uh, then I have to test the product, and then I have to write a review on Sephora.com, and that's it. So I guess Influencer also plugs in with places like Sephora in order to help build reviews for products so that people will buy them. You know, when we're shopping our FabFitFun sales, I don't purchase anything unless it has reviews. So this is a really excellent way for a company to give away some free products and build some reviews so that people will actually feel comfortable buying it. Talking with my hands a lot. So this is what it is. It looks like this. It says that it's $19 and it's a $28.50 value and it's a power cleanse duo. So I put on a little bit of foundation because this is an oil cleanser and a powder cleanser. So this is the first time I'm going to use a powder cleanser actually too. So we're going to see how that goes. But I put on a little bit of foundation so that we could really test out the oil cleanser and see how well it works. And I can give you guys kind of a more accurate review. I even went online onto YouTube to double check exactly the right way to use an oil cleanser. I've never done that before. I've always just dove in and started using the cleanser and I found out that I was doing some things wrong. So I'm going to talk about that as I use it as well. Now one thing that has me questioning, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I am on a cruelty-free journey and Dermalogica, while it is cruelty-free, they're owned by Unilever and Unilever is not cruelty-free. So that kind of leaves me in a spot where I'm thinking a little critically about whether or not I want to continue to receive Fox boxes as much as that 
stinks. That's part of what I found about going cruelty free is one of the most challenging things is just feeling left out. I feel left out a lot. I want to subscribe to BoxyCharm and Ipsy. A lot of the stuff that comes in them aren't is not cruelty free. So it has me in a spot where I'm thinking critically about that and I will make the decision as to whether or not I feel comfortable continuing to receive box boxes. That aside, if you're curious about what I slapped on my face, I don't typically wear foundation every day. Actually, I never wear foundation. I put on foundation in my get ready with me's because it's a lot of fun for me. Otherwise, I don't wear foundation. I will We'll go over quickly if you're curious what I put on. Well, maybe that'll help you in knowing how well this oil cleanser works. So I put on the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. This is a really popular foundation. I have to say in all of the Get Ready With Me's that I've done, I think that this is the best one. Wet n Wild just entered some controversy about whether or not they're cruelty free though. So if you're following me because of the cruelty free thing, look into that. I've talked about it in prior videos as well. I have on also, this is made Maybelline. I, I love these. Before I went cruelty free, I have a whole bunch of these in, in different colors, 24 hours, 24 color, super stay, whatever. It's right there. You see it. <laughs> I have a bunch of these. And so if you're not cruelty free and you want a long lasting drugstore lipstick, I really, really like these. I think they re they wear really well. And this is in the color Firmly Mauve. So I put this on really quickly and then I put some lip gloss over it. This is the makeup artist MUA. And this is in the color number 110 Bear. And I believe that I bought this because Tati recommended it. How many things have we purchased because Tati recommended it? And then, so this I bought because the Tayla recommended it. She's T-H-A-T-A-Y-L-A-A. -A -A. She's got a growing, growing channel. She has almost 800,000 subscribers right now. And she, ma she makes really excellent recommendations, I think. And I feel like she, her taste has gotten more and more refined and I really have grown to like her more and more. Anyway, so she recommended this. I had never heard of this before. I'd never seen it in stores, but it is Lash Princess False Lash Effect and this stuff works really well. I like a volumizing mascara, so keep that in mind when I recommend mascaras. I like my lashes to be as long as possible, so this is working really well. And then I am using for my eyebrows. This ran out. This isn't cruelty free, so I'm not repurchasing it, but this is the L'Oreal Brow Styler and if you're not cruelty free and you're looking for a good brow pencil, this one is excellent. I was very sad when this one ran out. And then I'm using this Kaylee one. This one is cruelty free and I do not like it very much. I got it in a Pediver box, which Pediver is a cruelty free subscription box. And I don't like it very much, unfortunately. So I'm just going to use it up and then hopefully find a better one. So that's what's on my face. And I am going to get into this now. I am going to start off with the oil cleanser just sitting here because what I learned when I double checked how to use an oil cleanser cleanser is that you start with your hands and face completely dry. I haven't done that. I was wetting my hands first and I learned that that is the least efficient way to do it. So this is the oil cleanser and it's not a huge bottle. I don't know if these are sample sizes. It's 30 milliliters and then this is the daily microfoliant. So it's a, like I said, it's a double cleanse kind of kit thing. And this is a chemical exfoliant because it has the salicylic acid in it and it's the powder kind. So I've never used a powder cleanser. So we're going to see how that goes. It smells good. It smells herbal and spa-like. I already like it. What I learned is that you're supposed to use a very generous amount and you're supposed to really just massage it in so that it can work with your oils in your face and bond with them to help the makeup slip off and we're just going to and you're oh and you're supposed to warm it up between your hands so we're gonna do that as well and then I am NOT gonna be able to see for a little while I'm just gonna rub it in circular most motions as they said I'm enjoying myself right now <laughs> Now, what I learned from that video is that we now add some water and that it will start to make the 
oil more liquidy. So I'm gonna wet my hands. And now it's supposed to turn like really milky. I've got the mascara under my eyes. I don't know about all that, but it definitely feels like it's ready to come off of my face. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I looked and I still have a lot of the eye makeup under my eyes, but I do feel like it got off a lot of the makeup. And then now we're going to look at the microfoliant powder cleanser. So my thoughts on the oil cleanser are that it smells really nice. It felt enjoyable to use. If you are who cares about ingredients I see right now offhand uh, that a pe there's a peg in here and peg is an ingredient that a lot of people like to avoid okay so here is the microfoliant now this is a powder I, I need directions dispense onto wet hands and create a paste massage onto clean face rinse avoid eye area well so I still have a little bit of makeup going on in my eye area so I'll just have to go back and get that I guess with more oil cleanser or something okay so I'm just gonna use this to wet my hands I don't really like to film at my sink because I have to angle you guys in a way that I don't feel like you're really getting a good look at me okay so the top just looks like this it's got the little hole a minute well, I'm supposed to wet my hand first So it comes out just like that, just like baby powder. I don't know, that doesn't feel like very much. Okay. I don't know about this powder stuff. So it's a paste, doesn't look like anything I really wanna put on my face. Why powder cleanser? The only thing I can think of is that you can travel with it really well. You know, this kind of reminds me of, remember in the 80s when you would go into the bathroom and they had that powder hand soap? That's what this reminds me of. And it kind of, it barely smells, but it kind of has a smell like that. And I don't know if it's supposed to, but it feels like there's a physical exfoliant. I don't know if that's just because I didn't wet the powder enough and there are little clumps of powder. I'm gonna wet it a little more. I don't know about this powder cleanser stuff. Let me know, have you had you used powder cleanser before? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you think it's gimmicky? I feel like it reminds me of washing my hands with that awful stuff in elementary school at recess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not enjoying myself. I'm gonna get this off of my face. That's my first impression. I'm not enjoying using a powder cleanser. I'll be right back. Okay, so my final thoughts are that as far as oil cleansers go, I did enjoy using the Dermalogic Cook Oil Cleanse. I don't know what I think of oil cleansers yet. I haven't used them very much. I don't feel like they get eye makeup off very well is my take on oil cleansers. I feel like I have to go in with either, well, I feel like I, I feel like just mus my mascara never comes off all the way and I have to go in and really get it off around my eyes. But aside from my own personal qualms with oil cleanser, as far as oil cleansers go, if you like oil cleansers, again, I do like the smell. It's got that herbal spa-like smell and it feels nice. I like the viscosity of it, the thickness of it, and I think that this is a good one. This was my first time using a powder cleanser. I don't enjoy it at all. I did not enjoy that. I'm gonna try it again and I will give you guys an update. I do a lot of review videos. I do a lot of updates if my opinion changes, and then I do empties. So definitely stick around, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Say hello in the comments below. I would love that. That's it. Those are my thoughts. That's my Vox box. Go ahead and log into Influencer, create yourself an account, and just start leaving a whole bunch of reviews. And likely, eventually, because you are helping them out so much, they will send you something so that you can try it out and review it and help out the beauty community. Leave a review. Let Help people decide if they want to purchase the product or not. That's all for this video. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Bye!